Hello YouTube, it is I, the Mighty Melv. As you can see there is a bit of a, a little bit of a physical change here, but I think it's for the best. Anyway, mainly it is just to mark this special occasion. Um, I think I will not waste any more of your time and simply move on with this little introduction before the tutorial. As you can see for the, uh, <clears throat> for the much awaited Keyblade from uh, that game everybody likes, that I happen to hate. A great deal. But regardless, so, um, just wanted to quickly say that I apologize deeply for taking so long, so very long, for this video to come out. I do apologize for that. However, it is due to the fact that there has been, for me, a slight lack of time, a slight lack of supplies, and to be quite honest, a rather small lack of interest. I have um, <coughs> moved on to other projects, mainly the LARPing stuff and some stuff here, but that's just how things are. In my Gunblade video I said I would probably be done with the paper stuff, I basically am. But I shall definitely finish this tutorial before that. So without further ado, I give to you the much awaited Keyblade tutorial. Okay, right, let's get into this. Okay, first thing you're going to want, as usual, you want cutting board, you want your pages of uh, paper, because you're going to want to have several uh, pieces of um, printer paper for this one. This one requires a few. You'll see why in, in a minute. <clears throat> You'll want a pen, or a pencil, you know, either one's good, knife of some sort, some kind of cutting implement, you can borrow your cleaver if necessary, black paper. Blue paper, silver, and gold. Uh, you don't have to use origami paper. You can. I would suggest it, but you don't have to. You don't have to. If you'd like to use, um, you know, other paper and paper and just color it, fine. If you want to use construction paper, fine. You don't have to use this. Just saying, this is the best. Same thing with these. You don't have to use gold and silver. If you really want, this can be yellow. This can be gray. Whatever you feel like. I just have those on hand. Um, let's see. Ah, you're going to need some wire. You're going to need some wire of some sort, okay? Not a whole lot, just, you know, this is way too much, but you're going to need some wire of some sort. And when you have wires, pliers are always good. You don't have to have these, but these will make it so much easier. And uh, you're going to be cutting that wire, so a wire cutter is always good, too. You may need something like this. If you don't have one of those, then uh, most multi-tools have a wire cutter between the plier parts. So, that is, uh, oh no, 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 sorry, you need some glue. Now this is kind of why this tutorial hasn't come out. I've ran out, I ran out of glue a long time ago and I haven't really felt the need to replenish it. So, let's just pretend this dragon is, is glue. So, um, that's about it, I think. Yeah, I think that's all the supplies you need. I'm pretty sure. Paper, paper, paper. Yeah, okay. So, that's all you need. Right then. I'm gonna just skip into the tutorial. And let's get going. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry for the jump. Okay, so. Kingdom key. First thing we're... First thing we're gonna do is make the shaft part. Okay. <clears throat> so. Step one, get yourself your printer paper. You, for step two, you need to roll it really, really, really tightly, all right? Uh, and put some glue on the edge once you get it tightly. In fact, give me one second, I'll show you what that's supposed to look like. I do have an example of that. This will take a long time. <laughs> Look like this. In fact, you can make the halberd this way too. So you see, you gotta make it really tight. So you gotta, you gotta do like that. You gotta make it a really, really tight, tight roll. So <clears throat> you do that, and you'll have it a tube like so. Cut off the ends to make it whatever length you want and then attach glue to either end. That's all you gotta do. Okay. So, now we're going to make the actual key. 
part of it. This part is very time consuming and rather difficult. So you're gonna wanna get another piece of paper and your writing implement and something to cut and your glue. So, draw this shape, okay? If you're making the kingdom key, which this tutorial is for, make that shape and get really used to making it over and over. You're going to want to take it and put it on your paper. Now, this is not maybe how big you want it. You just really have to judge how big you really want that. In fact, that actually might be okay. Just, you know, put it on the paper, put the shaft next to it, and get a feel for how big you actually want it to be, you know. Um, so you cut one of those out after drawing it, and you glue it down to your piece of printer paper. And then you let that dry, you trace it again, uh, right on the paper and cut that one out and then put that one. So you're basically just stacking these pieces of paper. You'll have many layers and that will help build it up and make it stiff, like so. You'll have it like this and if it, you do it right, it'll be stiff so you can actually just hold the whole thing by it. That'll take quite a few, maybe, I don't know, maybe at least 10. Probably less than that, but you know, expect to do this a lot. You can keep doing that however many times you want to make it however thick you want and keep doing that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that um, finished piece that has all the layers glued together and you're going to stick it right on the shaft. Just glue it on the side and then you're going to get another strip of paper, okay? So you're going to do this basically. Pretend this is the key and this is the shaft. The key goes here. You're going to take a piece of paper and glue it to this side and then you're going to wrap it around trace the other side cut it out and just do that again that will hold it on to the shaft that will make sure that it can't break off no wobble or anything and that's all you got to do for that part okay as you can see here sorry i forgot to change it you attach it there trace it out use your cutting tool to cut it out you can put glue on that side so that it sticks, do the same here, flip it over, glue it and cut it out again, and you'll be good. Now, get really used to doing that a lot. You're just going to have to do it a lot. But um, <clears throat> it's important you do that because otherwise, you know, it's going to be really flimsy, you're going to dent it a whole lot, and it's not going to look great or all that. Now we're going to do this part, which is exactly the same save for one slight difference. So, to do that, once again, you're drawing the shape out, looks like this, and you're doing it, put, putting it on the paper, tracing it, cutting it out, tracing it, cutting it out, and gluing it each time. You just gotta get used to doing that. And you're gonna make two of these shapes, one to go on either side of the shaft. So you're gonna have it like that. So you're gonna have, excuse me, this. Okay, that's what the two means. So you're gonna have the two, you're gonna make those two pieces, layer them both up, and then this is where it's going to be similar to the last part. You get the shaft, you put it down, glue those two pieces to the side, and then get another piece of paper, <clears throat> trace it so you have the shape with both of them on it. Do that twice so you'd make the shape like this, put some glue on the paper, glue that down, cut out all the sections, all that. Flip it over and do the exact same thing again. Now this is where you can do your color. Um, for this one, you're going to want to use the gold foil or you know, you could also use the yellow paper and basically just repeat step three again where you'd take the paper, lay it so that the color side is facing outward, put some glue on it, stick the, uh, the model on it, trace out the outline, cut it out, flip it over and do the same. So that's really all you got to do for that. Now we're going to be doing the all-important keychain because that's important. Okay, this is where you're going to want to use your wire. So, going to want to get your wire. This is where you want some pliers and some cutters. <coughs> now, take your wire and you're basically going to be making staples. If you're really lazy and don't want to do this, you could use staples, but it's better to use wire because the staples aren't quite going to give you the right shape. So anyway, you're going to make a sort of a U-turn here and cut it off 
make the U-turn again. That's what your pliers are for. You might want to have two pliers so you can hold it in one hand and then hold with the other and twist. And just make a bunch of those because those are your links really. Those are just the links for your chain. And then you're going to make a U piece and gently shove that so that it goes into the end of this. So that way this whole <clears throat> this whole chain has something to hold on to. So you're basically going to be doing this. You're just going to be adding however many links you want to make the chain however long you want. And then put some glue where this meets the base of the keyblade so that way it holds in and can't possibly fall out. And now, once again, you're going to have to do that thing where you get a piece of paper, you trace out a shape, cut it out, glue it, and do that again for the Mickey Mouse emblem on the end of the chain. And you're going to make another U and fit that inside the layers. This is where you want the silver or gray foil or paper. You place it on top of that in the same way where you lay this on top of that, you glue it to it, trace it out, cut it out, and just do that. And then you put all the links together and you'll have that. Now you think you might be done, but there's one small part left, and that's to put any other details you want. So on the actual, you know, shaft and key side of this, do not have any color. Just leave it white. You could maybe put foil on it or gray if you like, but I left mine white just because I have that sort of tendency, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> I think it's still here. You can put a little bit of blue right where the shaft meets the hilt part of it because I think there's a little blue stripe there. Put some black over the actual hilt part of it. And um, if you really want to, you don't have to do this, but if you really, really want to, get some very, very thin, tiny thin pieces of the silver and tape, and, I see not tape, glue them right around the edge there. And that'll just bring out some more detail. That's only if you're a glutton for punishment, like me. So. Do all that, and you will have yourself a paper kingdom key. Thanks for watching very much. Best of luck to everyone who wants to make it. All right, this is the Mighty Melv. See you next time.